You guys, oh you guys, another fast food review here at Number Six with Cheese. Today, the Arby's Wagyu Steak Burger. Arby's got Wagyu. Uh, we did it for a live like six months ago. I think we got the bacon like ranch version. I'm definitely gonna go for just like the straight up one today. It's back, we're gonna try it, pumped you here. Yeah guys, we're also doing a Patreon shout out today for Proud Nerd, he jumped on that $25 tier. Uh, so that's amazing. Uh, I've told you guys this a million times, but like it really is one of the best ways to help support the channel. So Proud Nerd, thank you so much. Thank you to all our Patreon supporters. And if you are interested in sign up, go to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Barbies, let's go. How's it going? Um, can I just do two of the, uh, just the steakhouse burgers? Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Alright, we got them. Two of them. The Arby's Wagyu Steak Burgers. Eight fifty-nine each. No side. Acquired jump cut. Oh, my sunglasses flew off. And you can't tell me what to do! You get oh, 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 oh. Little investigative work. Corey Wagner, second angle. Alright, let's see what we got. Open her up. Boom, big old bun. It looks like it's a brioche bun. And then we open it up. We got lettuce. We got burger sauce. We've got tomatoes. Gonna get rid of those later. And I don't want them on the sidewalk, just on the street there, you know. Yeah, you're being nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got American cheese, it looks like. And then there's our Wagyu beef patty. And then under that, there's some red onions and some pickles and more burger sauce. And then real quick on the big camera, because we got it, there it is from that angle in my hand. Wagyu steak <laughs> and ground beef. Okay, here we go. Arby's, just under nine bucks before tax. Cheers. Cheers. Very bunny. Yeah, right away. Mm-hmm. They did use a lot of that Thousand Island. Is that what it is? I mean, special sauce, yeah. Basically just a fun way to say Thousand Island. How'd you find that? Is that true, or are mm -hmm. you just guessing? This has to be Thousand Island. I get the- But you don't have, you haven't seen it in writing? I don't think, the, I don't think they advertise it as Thousand Island, but that's like what it is. The so same I, thing with I Big- I guess what I'm getting at is, is this an educated guess? Or did you find on the Arby's website, here's a recipe for our Burger sauce at Thousand Island. No, I'm just making a guess. Okay, okay. Because you never know, because I feel like burger sauce, sometimes they try to do Thousand Island plus this, mm. or plus that. Like add a little ingredient to it? Yeah, which then your taste buds pick up that Thousand Island and you might not know like, oh, it's actually Thousand Island with like a bunch of garlic powder or right. whatever, so in the, um, you know, just to, so we can be the best food reviewers that we can be, um, I'm, not a, uh, I'm, not, I'm not about giving out false information. We either know it or we don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was way too confident in my guess. <laughs> That's Thousand Island. That's Thousand Island. Now, how much was this? Eight fifty nine before tax. That's not too bad. I think I mean, not great. No. To me, this is such an average burger in mm -hmm. general. Like just as flavor. Yeah. This is what the prices are for like specialty burgers, but mm -hmm. I don't think I'd pay that for this. Yeah, me neither. Like the whole advertisement for Wagyu, like it doesn't taste like Wagyu. No, I mean it tastes like just a ground beef patty. Mm -hmm. There's no differentiation of me eating this. Going, damn, that's really good, like meat though. I've said it once. I'll say it a thousand times. Wagyu is specifically and only meant for steak, not burgers, not burgers, not meatballs, <laughs> not any meat that isn't a steak yeah. should ever be used for Wagyu beef. I think we need to like st stand by that. Like I need I need people to understand that. Yeah. And start of course I'm by it, I'm saying it. I want society to follow suit. <laughs> We've talked about this just recently with why you, why hot dogs are covered in ketchup, it's a flavor masker. Yeah. Why steaks that aren't as good can use like A1 steak sauce or some really trash people even use ketchup. Mm -hmm. And why great steaks, you don't use that stuff because the meat is delicious and good. Yeah. When you're putting a bun and lettuce and onions and sauce on the thing, you're not gonna get the full flavor of the meat. It's no. gonna be competing. It's a dance with a lot of different players. Right. That's not what great high-end expensive meat is. Right. 
or is, is should be used for, and uh, thus it's a, a dumb waste of Wagyu. Absolutely. And also this isn't real Wagyu, it's Wagyu mixed with ground beef, it sounds like you said. It is, I, yeah, absolutely. It's totally a sleight of hand, mm -hmm. it, it's a ploy. Absolutely. It's it's a, a marketing move, it's just to get you in the front door. Yeah. It's not gonna taste like the Wagyu beef steak that people like drool about. Yeah. Um, so that's just something that I'd like to point out. I almost wish Arby's doing the burger thing, because I know like, we've got burgers now, and they're trying to do this whole like fancy thing with the Wagyu. Too many bad burgers are served in drive throughs every day. Arby's couldn't take it anymore, so Arby's made a new burger. I almost wish they would just do like a cheaper, thinner, just cheesy good burger for like five bucks. Mm -hmm. I kind of don't need the whole song and dance from Arby's for like a burger. No. Like, just give me like a solid, I know they're probably not doing smash burgers, I get that, mm -hmm. but just give me like a thin double cheeseburger that's good. Like, mm -hmm. that's all I need. I more so wouldn't get, wouldn't get this because like the combo, it's like $13. It's yeah, like, no, thanks. no way. You're absolutely right though, putting all that stuff. Like a burger for the most part to me, the meat just needs to be okay. It's like, it's part of the whole combo. Which Wagyu is fattier. Definitely. But it, you know, 80-20 does it. You don't yeah. need anything else other than that. We've said it before, the simpler the burger, most of the time the better. Just do the key components right and you're, you're a success. I do. I like the sauce. Why? Yeah, the special sauce is good. I love that kind of a sauce on a burger. Mm -hmm. I like that more than a ranch or a mayo and stuff. Like that's really my flavor profile for a burger. Like that kind of sauce is kind of what I prefer more than the other one. Definitely not a ranch. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had ranch on a burger, but I don't think I'd be into it. Just the last time we did this, and I remember us being. Oh, like, they did put ranch. And on I remember it? us being like, "This is stupid that they did ranch with this as an alternative." I think they should have done something different. I like mayo. But Definitely, I, but special sauce to me is always more my speed, a little yeah. more in there. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Got the whiteboards out. Before we rate these out of five, let's go ahead and break it down for you, then we'll roll into that. Corey, you're up first. All right, guys, this has been a science day. We've been giving you a lot of information. Let's break it down a little bit. Bun, two, 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 two bunny. Uh, the burger was kind of average. I, I think if you're like expecting really good meat, you're not going to be stoked about it. If you like the sauce, and if your particular spot sauces it up the way that we saw that ours got sauced, you might be okay with this. Like I've had, I've definitely had like $8 burgers from fast food that are not as compelling as that. It's a little tricky because the thing that's pulling you is the Wagyu beef and that's doing nothing for me. The beef did not taste anything other than just like your normal hamburger meat. Um, but that being said, I really did like the sauce. I don't think it was like a full on trash garbage thing. And I am kind of like stoked. I am a huge Arby's curly fries or fire, but I never wanted to go there because the roast beef is one of the dumbest fast food items on this planet. So like them actually having a burger option like does increase my likelihood of going there. So if you're craving some Arby's fries and you want to go there and get this burger, like I don't think I'd fault you on that. I think that's like, I mean 13 yeah, bucks, that's a good bucks point. for the combo. like. You have another reason to go. The fries are never like their own reason most no, of the time. I like yeah. that. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea. And honestly, $13 new burgers, it's not that far off from like what Burger King is, is it? Am I wrong on you that? You mean the eight 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 fifty nine? Well, thirteen for the combo, because we were talking about getting it with fries. Yeah, because that's with like Chicago tax and everything out the door. It was like almost thirteen bucks, I want to say, what was next to it. I mean, here for a new thing, yeah, you're right. That's it's, probably right in line. It's probably which right is crazy that it is where we're at with that now, but that's just the way society is. That's the that's way how it, much is. it is. Now. Price go up. This is you know we're Red used to cost a nickel, it doesn't anymore. Guess what? Welcome to the new year. Buddy. This is how it's gonna one day this it'll is, be twenty bucks. Yeah, this is how it goes. We all get paid more, so you know, minimum wage used to be a nickel too. So yeah. hey, there you go. <laughs> uh, the point being, this isn't the worst thing in the world. It's just you have to have your expectations set right. If they said we've got a new delicious sauced up burger, then I would have gone there, probably rated this higher. But because they're like pitching this as a Wagyu beef burger and the beef didn't do anything for me, it's all about aligning your expectations. So I just want to make that clear for you guys. If you're going in expecting a good sauced up burger, you're probably gonna get that. If you're going and expecting like this phenomenal Wagyu beat, like the Wagyu thing that you've been hearing about for years, that's not gonna, it's not gonna hold a key to what you're expecting, so. There's that for you. Yeah, it was a good, not great burger, and for what it's marketed as, you're not getting this like great experience from the from the meat. So like having seen this video, you'll now know that. So your expectations will be a little different, hopefully, yeah. going forward. So because yeah. if you really go there and you're like, dude, this is supposed to be revolutionary, you're gonna be let down. So yeah. I'll, I'll just say that I'm. Mm -hmm. uh, I would definitely eat it again, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to get an Arby's burger. I'm just gonna say that. Alex Trebek, start the song. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> All right, I feel confident in this. A little bit of a discount. They're getting a little bit of a drawback because the false advertising. Yeah, that's really what it is. But that's what really, we're, we're here for. I know, that's true. That's what the show's for. We're realigning these people to have expectations that are appropriate. I think there's going to be some people, too, that didn't get this the first time around, and now they're actually really wondering, should I go get this? You know what? It's back. 
Did I miss out? And they're gonna watch this video. All right, cut it off. On the count of three, reveal your score here today out of five. One, two, three. Boom. Ah! Wow. Look at that, see? <laughs> All that, and it was same score. <laughs> yeah, we're spot on, man. Yeah, that's a 2-9 burger that's, out of five. Yeah, it's not great, it's good. That's gotta be the first time that's happened since the whiteboard days have started. I don't think we've had the exact score yet. Guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. New videos five days a week, sometimes more. Today, let's talk about stuff in food like that is marketed that it's just a ploy, like something else you just don't get on board with, like a Wagyu steak burger from a fast food restaurant. What's something else like that that you just can't get on board with? It's just not your thing. Comment that below. We'll comment ours and we'll chat with you guys in the comment section today. We appreciate you being here. We'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.